So finally with me, I got the Comsi keyboard, which is the model K3. So I presume this is the third model. I'm not really sure about this. So I actually got involved with the crowdfunding campaign for this model because I really do like my Asus ZenBook Duo laptop, which comes with two screens, which is very helpful for someone like me who's a designer. But I wish I had a better keyboard with an additional screen as well, which this one comes with a 13 inch a screen. This basically is a screen which is a touch expanding uh, function as well. So I just thought that would be really cool as well. So you could zoom in and zoom out. I think that's what it sounds like. Um, it also is Windows and Mac friendly uh, as well. And it comes with different types of accessories, which are, we're going to find out when we do the unboxing. But mainly this is a um, HD of 1920 by 720, 60 Hertz and 300 CD. Uh, and 1000 to 1 uh, density as well. And it's really heavy actually. I was rather surprised how heavy it is. I hope the actual unit itself is not gonna be heavy, but enough said, let's get into the unboxing. So here it goes. So let's slide that out, the cover, pull it out. Cover and wow, look at that. Let's actually pull out the actual unit which is very heavy indeed by the way we got the uh, user guide and also a quick um, instruction manual this is the usb cables which we're going to find out later on this is for pulling out the keyboard for customization i presume extra plastic that helps presume to take out those keyboards and tools power uh, unit, a USB cable. This is mainly for the power source. So this quite heavy unit comes with a protective uh, cover, which is nice uh, synthetic leather. So if you were to pull it out, we got a very quick sticker instruction here, which I could peel it out. Look at that, ASMR, huh? Um, and I have to say that keyboard feels really good indeed. I'm so looking forward to use this. Uh, I actually asked for an option of having the Korean keyboard as well. So you can see all these Korean uh, secondary marking on it. This button is where you press to adjust the actual angle of the screen. Yeah, like that. And then if you want to release it, that's where you press to. But if we actually go back to the back side of it, we got the um, power button, USB uh, A1 and A2, PD uh, slot, type C, and uh, lastly, the flash um, drive as well. So you can put the mini micro SD card and a larger um, SD card as well. Kickstand, and apparently on both sides of it, we got speaker here, so hopefully we'll be able to test how good the speaker is later on as well. Also, we got this very interesting scroll for volume up and down, which is very unique, I think. This is actually the hard disk cover. So if I were to press it and open um, for the hard disk to go there, that's the slot, okay? So that's really cool indeed as well, isn't it? But overall, we got an additional 13 inch monitor with a really nice sounding feeling keyboard, which also act as a docking station as well. So this is definitely a winner. So finally set it up the way I wanted. It didn't take that long, but remember that cable that had different plugs early on that I showed you when I was doing the unboxing. So the HDMI is connected to the left hand side and on the right hand side that's the data cable that is connected to the type c port on the back and this definitely needs a separate power as well but that's fine uh, so the way how i set up the monitor setting is this comes with one and two so one and two and the third one which is the quamzi k3 is also like in the middle ish between these two so that's how i actually set it up there uh, so the keyboard itself is really cool. I just love that rainbow effect, LED, and um, yeah, that's really cool indeed. But one thing if I have to pull, point out is that this is a very thin aesthetic sort of look, while this one is a bit chunkier, but I'm sure my eye is going to get used to that anyway in the long run. Let's open up my YouTube uh, video, and if I were to drag it down, it goes 
down there, as you can see, but if I were to move it here, that's how I got it here. So if I have to do the full screen mode, scroll up and down, and let's test the sound, shall we? So if I were to do the um, volume maximum, you can see that the volume is gone maximum on that bottom of the screen there to 100. And then let's play it, okay? Okay. So that's the Chat GPT quality. sort of highlighting those it's not, points. It's not that strong actually, it's mild, but it's okay. Well, the screen quality wise, I don't think you can tell by looking at the actual um, camera point of view, but in real life, this seems to be slightly lacking with the color. Maybe I might have to do a readjustment on the color settings. Uh, but it seems to be certainly lacking with the density and the quality that uh, the laptop, a thousand pound uh, laptop is providing. So I guess my eye needs to get used to it. But then again, it suddenly makes this working environment very, very powerful indeed. As someone for designing size, you could put on the YouTube, you could put some other links below there and work on your CAD or compare with other stuff on and on. So on the speed response on the keyboard side, as you can see, there's hardly any delays. So it's a really quick response. Um, no buffering whatsoever. Um, and the keyboard itself really feels nice. Certainly a great upgrade indeed. So really well put all together. So what can I say? It works pretty much straightforward, really nice additional 13 inch uh, monitor, which will suddenly power off my uh, working environment, but also a really nice feeling keyboard. Unfortunately, there are a few things that I do use often from my Asus um, keyboard which is like a print screen which and other other stuff that i need to get used to but i do like the volume up and down that's really nice then rather than touching up and down manually on my old uh laptop here also the additional docking station will be really cool because i do use uh, other special device to connect my memory card but here we've got two different options of memory card that i can slot in the quality of the monitor itself, again, it's not that expensive device. It's very affordable, this unit. Um, so the monitor is slightly off-putting comparing to my rather luxurious type of uh, laptop here. But overall, I'm very happy with it. I really look forward to use it, especially with the cool LED effect that will be adding on to my working environment and so on. And really good indeed. Only thing is I wish it was slightly lighter than the way how it looks but i'm sure there's a good reason behind it so i hope this video showed how cool this clumsy k3 keyboard monitor device and docking station is but if you have any queries please do comment below and thank you very much for watching this video this is lgp tech all the best bye bye